finally, 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 the Pokemon Company released information about Pokemon Home. We could dive in and figure out exactly what this cloud-based home Pokemon service is gonna be, the cost and how to move Pokemon and everything. We're gonna dive into it all in this video. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today you're gonna get my thoughts and what exactly is Pokemon Home. So let's just jump in. We got a lot to go over. All of this information is coming from Home pokemon.com the official pokemon home website i'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out right off the rip we get the date that pokemon home is gonna drop officially in february but not an official date i would hope it's february 1st it says available february 2020 so take that as you will it says pokemon home is a cloud service for nintendo switch and compatible mobile devices designed as a place where all pokemon can gather by linking the same nintendo account to both nintendo switch version and mobile version Pokemon Home, you'll be able to access the same boxes on both versions. That's pretty cool. With Pokemon Home, you can move Pokemon between compatible games, trade Pokemon on the go, and more. So the move section where you can move Pokemon and how exactly we move, it says move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. The Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home supports connectivity with the Nintendo Switch games like Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Both the Nintendo Switch version and mobile device version of Pokemon Home supports connectivity with the 3DS software Pokemon Bank. Wait, wait, wait. So they're different versions of the same thing? Pokemon Home on the Switch and the mobile are different. Oh, okay. There's plans to support Pokemon Go in the future as well, but it's not going to be available at launch. Okay. And it says, um, in fine print, it says once a Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is moved into Sword and Shield, it cannot be moved back. Okay, we know this. This is the same thing like in Pokemon Bank. If you had a Pokemon from X and Y, and you move it into sun and moon it cannot go back into x and y it got all of these new moves and stuff like that the games just won't register it in those old game so kind of makes sense the same thing going on there it says connect with pokemon sword and shield pokemon sword and shield can link to the nintendo switch versions of pokemon home once the games are linked you can deposit and retrieve pokemon that can be attained in those games so no national deck search you can't just bring in any pokemon they have to be able to be obtained in the games in order to bring them in pokemon let's go pikachu pokemon let's go eevee can link to the nintendo switch version of pokemon home and let you move pokemon back and forth from between Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and once Pokemon is in, is in. Connect with Pokemon Bank. This is why I'm here. How do you connect your Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home? It says you if you enrolled into a paid premium plan, so you need to pay for Pokemon Home in order to do this. Okay, you'll be able to move Pokemon from the 3DS Pokemon titles to Pokemon Home using Pokemon Bank. Okay, I pay, I'm gonna pay. But you got me there. Once a Pokemon from Pokemon Bank is moved into Pokemon Home, it cannot be moved back into Bank. Okay, makes sense. You're only moving forward, not backwards. This is to celebrate the release of Pokemon Home. We will make Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter available at no cost for one month period. Okay, after Pokemon Home is released. I thought Pokemon Bank was going free, bro. I was about to get excited, but it's free for one month. That's cool. That means I don't have to re-up for February because I was going to pay my $5 to have Pokemon Bank active so I can move over my Pokemon to Pokemon Home. However, it's looking that I don't have to do that because Pokemon Home is going to be hopefully available in February and that's when my Pokemon subscription is up. I believe it's up on February 3rd. I got to check. It says you'll be able to bring Pokemon from various Pokemon series games using Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter. Yes, we know. In Pokemon Bank, then you'll be able to move Pokemon into Pokemon. Okay, move them into Home. Okay, all right. Simple enough. Let's go into trade. Trade Pokemon 1. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. What is this? All right. It says use your mobile device to trade Pokemon anytime, anywhere. There are four ways to trade Pokemon using Pokemon Home on your mobile device. It says on your mobile device. So I'm thinking some of these features aren't going to work on the Nintendo Switch version. It says Wonder Box. Pokemon is placed in the Wonder Box can be traded with people around the world before you even know it. The Pokemon placed in the Wonder Box will be traded even when you're not using Pokemon home okay that's oh, all right so it's just uh like a wonder trade but a box okay you'll be able to increase the number of Pokemon you can trade once enrolling into a paid membership okay so you can you could probably do that for free but if you want more you could pay for a paid membership and you get more okay GTS GTS what 
Do we get the GTS and Pokemon Home, but not in Sword and Shield? It says with the GTS, you'll be able to specify which Pokemon you want to trade and which Pokemon you want to receive, and then be able to match with a trainer with those requests meet your criteria. You will even be able to request Pokemon that you haven't registered yet in the Pokemon Home National Dex. Okay, in the Pokemon Home National Dex. Pokemon Sword and Shield is not going to have a National Dex, but Pokemon Home is going to have one. There you go. Your, 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 all your questions are answered here. Thank you guys. I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. I'm joking because that's what a lot of people are basically just coming to the videos for to see that National Dex. Is it going to be here? Yes, you can bring in all your Pokemon. It says you'll be able to increase the number of Pokemon you can trade at once by rin rolling into a premium paid plan. So that's what it's looking like here. I don't know the, um, the prices yet, but it's looking like if you download and have have the app on your Nintendo Switch on your phone you can do a lot of the stuff for free but if you want to increase on how much on how much stuff you can do you can pay for a premium membership which is pretty cool since room trade room trade lets you create a room and trade a Pokemon amongst people who join each room can hold up to 20 people to add a little suspense you won't know what Pokemon you will receive until the trade is complete training in rooms has no cost but you will only be able to create rooms when enrolled into a paid program okay. Okay, so it's like it's like Wonder Trade, but with 20 people, and you don't know what Pokemon you're gonna get, but you know which Pokemon is in the room. That is unique. I like this idea because then this allows me to do on my end, create a room, let you guys join. You everyone sees what Pokemon you get potentially get, and I could give away like a legendary or some shit, and then one of the lucky viewers will be able to get it. I like this. I like this idea. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna do a couple of room trades in the future. It's sounds pretty good jumping over to friend trade it says friend trade allows you to trade pokemon with other users who you become friends with in pokemon home okay you can add friends using the add friend feature in pokemon home the feature related to adding and managing friends in pokemon home cannot be used by users under the age of 16 that is i'm sorry if you're under the age of 16 tell your mom dad to sign up for pokemon home and use their age and you'll be able to but again i think that's just to to make sure that you don't get gypped out of a Pokemon. Guys, know your Pokemon's worth. Don't trade legendaries for a Caterpie. Make sure you know what you're doing as far as if you're trading, as far as trading is concerned. And I think that's what that's trying to prevent. It's trying to prevent players who maybe don't know what they have trading for basically garbage Pokemon and protecting the kids out there. Always protect the kids. More features. Pokemon Home is filled with features that you can use to connect with games and the Pokemon series and and more national pokedex again why you came to this video it says pokemon will be registered to the national pokedex when you deposit them in boxes in pokemon home okay if you move a pokemon that can mega evolve or gigantamax then these forms will be registered too. Okay. In the National Pokedex, you'll be able to see Pokemon entries from various different games in one place. Wow, bro. Whoa, we got every icon. That, look, we got X and Y, Sword, Shield, Omega Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire. This is lit. This is lit. You can see what the Pokemons came from. You can see the dex entries for those games, respectively. This is dope. I'm loving this, bro. I'm loving this. It says, with the mobile app version of Pokemon Home, you'll be able to see much more than just the Pokedex entries. You'll be able to check each Pokemon's abilities as well as the moves they can learn. That is dope, too. For competitions, I can see a ton of competitive Pokemon players using this. So just with the mobile version, the mobile app version, you can see the their moves and abilities that's cool it makes sense i don't see anybody trying to whip this out on the big screen it would be cool if they would just think like everything the mobile version could do the switch version can do but hopefully that just gets updated and we get to see a sync of features across the board it says mystery gifts you can receive mystery gifts in the mobile device version of pokemon home that sucks and you can't do that with the switch version it says with this feature you can receive mystery gifts for pokemon sword and pokemon shield as well as gifts specifically for pokemon home pokemon received in pokemon home can be directly deposited in the box in pokemon home okay you must be 16 years old to use a local event check option for mystery gifts depending on your device ios versions features may not be support okay this is cool this is cool i can see them giving out gifts at local events this way saying hey pull out your mobile phone check in at this event and 
get your event Pokemon like for Pokemon World and stuff like that. It says check in, but with your mobile phone, I'm wondering, obviously, as you guys know, will I be able to GPS spoof myself into this location and receive a gift Pokemon? I don't know, but I am going to try it when it comes out. I am going to try to see if I can just pop up and um, get myself an event Pokemon by my location because I could just say, hey, I'm at this location and with my phone, the app probably wouldn't know any better and just let me download that Pokemon. However, I am going to try it out. Warning out there, I don't advise in stealing and spoofing, especially spoofing to catch Pokemon, but for events, it is something that I am kind of lenient on, especially for people who aren't able to make it out to those events. Even though I do know that that's why they make these event Pokemon so special because not a lot of people can get them, but granted, if you can get them by other means to each your own, you can also get some gifts such as items for Pokemon by receiving a code for mystery gift in Pokemon Home, then using that code in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And they have an example here oh so I could get a pokeball gift okay I just checked and no that code does not work but it does say available on the 7th so maybe on the 7th we can check back and see if this code actually works it says judge Pokemon if you enrolled into a premium plan you will have access to judge functions which allows you to check how strong your Pokemon are oh my god all right they got every competitive player to enroll into this plan now because every competitive player probably wants this on their mobile phone and the Nintendo Switch to be able to judge and check Pokemon inside of Pokemon Home rather than just bringing them over one by one to Pokemon Sword and Shield and then checking them that way. I think this is definitely a way to lure in. I think to be honest, if you are a competitive player and you have tons of Pokemon, you are going to buy Pokemon Home anyway. So that that is a thing. So that that is just, woof. let's go. Your room. In your room, you'll be able to see all sorts of information about events or the games you are connected to Pokemon Home. You will also be able to edit your profile using stickers. You obtain stickers when you meet certain criteria and conditions or perform certain tags in Pokemon Home as challenges. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that means we're gonna have like challenges to do. I'm probably gonna come up with guides and stuff like that covering the challenges here on the channel. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. We got challenges, friends, news, okay. Accomplish four, it says you brought over a Turquic, a Chimchar, and a Pumplup from the Sinnoh region. And then they have, oh. Wait, are they teasing? Are they teasing Shino remakes? Because <laughs> they like have the starters. You brought the starters. That's going to be a challenge inside of Pokemon Home. And then the Shino region? That would mean that the person had played um, one of the Shino games way back in the day and brought that Pokemon all the way forward to do that. And then for that to be a challenge, bruh, this has to be a tease for, for the Shino remakes. That has to be a tease. Okay, we got a couple of little stuff. We got battle data. It says in the mobile app version of Pokemon Home, you can check out how ranked battles and various online competitions of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield are going, as well as the rankings of the Pokemon being used in them. By going to battle data, you'll be able to see the battle records of each trainer, as well as information about what moves are popular among the Pokemon in the competition. That's dope! Says the battle data function is expected to become available sometime after the February 2020 launch of Pokemon Home. So that means it could come any time. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. For my competitor Pokemon friends out there, that is definitely dope. This is news. In the Pokemon Home for mobile devices, you'll be able to receive news about Pokemon being distributed at gifts and information about online competition for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Okay, cool. Pokemon Home Home points. Pokemon home points are points that accumulate in Pokemon home as you deposit more Pokemon. When using Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon home, you'll be able to exchange your Pokemon home points for BP battle points using in the core series game. Okay, this is cool. This is just like how when you get points inside a Pokemon bank, how it works, you could transfer that and use that as BP in the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon game. So it's cool. It's a cool feature and it's good to see that back. So version 
features. So we get to see what's available for the Nintendo Switch version and the mobile version. Let's go over that real quick. It says move Pokemon with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on the Nintendo Switch version. You could do that, not the mobile phone version. It says move Pokemon with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Again, Nintendo Switch version exclusive, not the mobile phone version. It says move Pokemon with Pokemon Bank. You could do that across both versions, the Nintendo Switch and the mobile version. Judge Pokemon, you can do that across both versions, the Nintendo Switch and mobile version. So uh, that's pretty cool and handy to have. Trade Pokemon. You can only trade with the mobile phone version. Receive mystery gifts only with the mobile phone version. Check battle data only with the mobile phone version. Check news only with the mobile phone version. And exchange home points for BP only with the Nintendo Switch version. So that's pretty cool. It kind of makes sense why some features are exclusive to the mobile version and some exclusives are to the Nintendo Switch version because let's keep it real you probably not going to use the news feature on the Nintendo Switch especially for notifications and stuff like that it makes sense to just have that exclusive to the mobile version so yeah I understand why some they made that decision there I just kind of wish everything all the good features anyway were synced across both platforms it says premium plan paid you can enroll into the Pokemon home premium plan for even more great features Whoa, 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 okay, okay. So this is more than Pokemon Bank. All right, for well, one month is gonna be $2.99. These are um, American prices. So one month, 30 days, $2.99. Three months, 90 days, $4.99. And 12 months, 365 days, $15.99, $16 for a year. I don't know how exactly I feel about that right now which is it's cool oh that is kind of crazy let's see um shit bruh it says moving pokemon from pokemon bank is unavailable and basic so you need a premium to do it yo people are gonna be mad bruh pokemon that can be deposit 30 and six thousand. that's cool you paying to store Pokemon to the cloud, you need to pay for it. That makes sense. 6,000 is like the national decks three times over. So that's pretty cool. Number of Pokemon that can be placed in the Wonder Box at once, three, and then 10 for a premium. That's pretty cool. If you, if you don't pay, you could still use the Wonder Box. You could still use GTS. GTS is one Pokemon at a time. And then on premium, it's three Pokemon at a time. That's pretty cool. The room trade you can participate in. Again, you can host and participate with a premium. And then the done function is just completely unavailable. You need to pay for that feature. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, hmm, shit. It's like I I understand fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars to be to be frank. Sixteen dollars. It's kind of a lot. Thinking that this is just for Pokemon. But if you know, if you enjoy the series, this you know, it's basically like a dollar and change a month. Sixteen dollars. Oh my God. I'm, I'm thinking of it like this. I'm gonna pay for Pokemon Home. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna pay for it because I have Pokemon I want to bring over for my 3DS that are exclusive and stuff like that that I've caught that I have history with that I want to bring over. However, however, damn. It's like if I do it for one month, do I? lose the Pokemon that it's over 30 you know what I'm saying it's like hmm. <laughs> yo I'm, I'm gonna pay and I'm gonna keep my subscription going as long as I feel the need to as far as I I, I don't think I'm ever gonna turn off Pokemon home at what we would see in the next couple of years but I could do $16 a year it's, that's not an issue. That's not the problem to me. The problem is that it's kind of way over Pokemon Bank. It's like two, three times over actually <laughs> of what Pokemon Bank cost. And granted, we do got more features. We do got a dope update, you know, to Pokemon Bank. If we got Pokemon Bank on mobile and then Pokemon Bank on the Nintendo Switch, I would have kind of been disappointed that they didn't upgrade that system and how to trade and how to move Pokemon. It's kind of great that we got some new shit here but jesus christ that's 16 i think i'm feeling more this way because that's after the news of the dlc and that's like oh my god i gotta get i gotta pay for the dlc and pokemon home and pokemon mystery journey and this and that so a lot of stuff is stacking up this year but granted we aren't 
as we know now, we aren't getting a brand new Pokemon game this year that's a total of $60, like a brand new fresh adventure. So this kinda is okay. Like the Pokemon, the bread anyway, that I will be spending for that Pokemon game that I always put aside every year is going into this. So it kinda makes sense. It goes into DLC, it's gonna go into Pokemon Home, it's gonna go into Mystery Dungeon. So I'm like, I understand, I'm cool with it. It's just like, whoa, bruh. I, uh, I mean, if you think about it like this, every month it's like a buck and change. So, all right, okay, Pokemon Company. I'm not too happy. It could, I, like, if it was ten, I would have been like, I. Right. But all right, I mean, I spend more on 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 McDonald's to be honest. So I'm not too mad on paying sixteen dollars for Pokemon. But Jesus, bro, God damn! Like these Pokemon exclude. They better throw us in like a mystery gift. You gotta like announce that we're getting like thunderous, like level one hundred. You know what I'm saying? With all the moves and shiny or some shit <laughs> to fucking celebrate that people are downloading and paying for a paid subscription for Pokemon Home. Because Jesus Christ, bro. All right. I, I like it. I like it. I'm going to fuck with it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I can see the dumpster fire of people complaining. And either way, let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Home. Let's have that discussion in the comments. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's have that discussion down there. If you're new around here, I do discussion videos like this all the time. So again, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over into recommended so other people can check out the video peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one and jesus fuck bruh Woo! damn thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able Able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter also on all of my videos I do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.